Hi, I'm Trevor. And I'm Will. And this is Spring Forward News. News broke out on Sunday that penguins can in fact rave. The South Pole was a glitter of green, orange, and yellow as day one of the 90-day festival kicked off. No, it's not the Northern Lights. It's a penguin rave. Penguins far and wide showed up for the event. Emperor penguins, puffins, Adelio penguins, African penguins, chinstrap penguins, Humboldt penguins, kind penguins, Marcaron penguins, yellow-eyed penguins all came out to the harsh South Pole winter with their bros dancing. Notable celebrities showed up like Happy Feet and Kanye West, who was not a penguin but still felt the need to show up there to prove something. On January 25th, 2014, the people of Philadelphia braved the cold for Radio 104.5's third annual Winter Jam. Festivities kicked off with the band in Honest Year and were followed by Miss Mister. The event was sponsored by State Farm, so it was free for all attendees. It was located at the Piazza at Smiths at Northern Liberties. Around 1 it began to snow, making the already frigid temperatures nearly unbearable. Surprisingly, however, the attendees kept on throughout winter storm and thawed out through dancing and music. Following Miss Mister came New Politics, a trio from Copenhagen, Denmark, who ignited the crowd with fun dancing music. Their stage presence warmed up the piazza. In between sets, a DJ played music to keep warm, while State Farm, who were the ones who sponsored the event, spoke about their company. After New Politics came Switchfoot. John Foreman, who already suffered a surfing injury, also came out to liven up the show. Finally, 21 Pilots, the band who opened last year's winter jam and specializes in alternative style music, came out to steal the show. There wasn't a cold person in the audience at this point because everyone was going so wild. Earlier this week, Dom and I had the chance to interview Spring Fordians on their favorite bands. The best concert experience I ever had was going to Warp Tour. What was the best concert experience you've ever had? Taylor Swift and I was three feet away from her. Ooh. Seen Imagine Dragons. Cool. My favorite concert experience was probably Folk Fest of 2013. Best concert I've ever went to was Miranda Lambert this summer. Man, the favorite concert I've ever been to? Probably Made in America. And you know why? Because Wiz Khalifa and Kendrick Lamar were turned all the way up. So what was the best concert experience you've ever had? Going to Made in America. Cool. The best concert experience I've ever had was crowd surfing at Passion Pit. My favorite concert was Hannah Montana and Drake. Thanks, Trevor. In sporting news, the NFL playoffs are now officially over. The Super Bowl was played on February 2nd, 2014. To get there, two weeks ago, Peyton Manning and the Broncos beat the Patriots 26-16. On that same day, the Seahawks beat the 49ers 23-17, with Richard Sherman's interception and his famous post-game interview coming after. Next week, the Pro Bowl was played. The game would be meaningless to watch if Nick Foles hadn't gotten the MVP. The Super Bowl occurred a week later at MetLife Stadium in New Jersey between the Denver Broncos and the Seattle Seahawks. It was a one-sided affair. The Seahawks offense and defense alike dominated the Broncos in all four quarters. It was definitely one of the worst games I have seen Peyton Manning play. The Seahawks eventually went on to win 43-8. The Seahawks linebacker, linebacker Matt Smith ended up getting the Super Bowl MVP for a stellar performance. The Broncos felt his presence the whole game. In the end, the Seahawks undoubtedly proved to be the more prepared and most definitely the better team. Thanks for watching Spring Forward. I'm Trevor. And I'm Will. Have a great day.